morning, this is Helicopter John. I just want to show you a little modification we made here to our Haas uh, TM-1P uh, machine. We're putting a uh, programmable uh, air slash coolant uh, nozzle on the machine. And I'm going to show you the little uh, control panel we've installed here. And this is all thanks to uh, Lyle Jagger. And uh, he's a very good friend of mine that uh, supplied me with all the electronics and also the, I guess you'd say, the brain power to get it all hooked up and everything. So uh, without further ado, we're going to look at our little control panel over here. And <clears throat> what we've got is a, uh, a little counter here. And this will actually count the pulses. And you can reset it uh, back to zero. It has a fuse on it. And you can turn it on and off. And then over here, this is the, the real brains of it. It actually uh, gets your timing of the uh, air blast. The one uh, item here controls the amount of dwell in between the blast, and the, the other one here determines how long the blast itself will be. Okay? And what controls uh, this, if you look on the side of the pendant, we've installed a, a three position switch. And if it's in the top rocker position, you get the, the air. If it's in the center position, you get nothing. It's turned off. And if you turn it to the bottom, you get coolant. I guess you heard the coolant pump come on. Okay, now we're back to there. Now we're going to go back to the air. And uh, the reason why no air is coming out is because we have the unit turned off here at the at control panel. What we're going to do now is turn this on, and then you're going to see the lights flash here will indicate what's going on. You hear the air? See it pulse? Okay. Now if we look in here, inside the control panel, you can see you get a really good blast of air comes out of this. You see how it moves my hand? I mean, and I'm not uh, faking it here. I mean, this is a good blast of air each time when it comes out. So if you were doing uh, tapping or you were doing uh, any other type of uh, operation, we have to blow the chips away or whatever you have machining, it'll uh, do the same thing. And this is hooked up to my hot P-Cool unit. And having the, the P-Cool unit hooked up to the air blast, you can actually program where the, uh, the air blast is going to go for a particular tool. So uh, that's very handy also. So if we go back over here and look at our, our little control panel, we can adjust how, how often it, it actually puts the air out. You hear now how it's coming out a lot faster? So what we've done, we've done there, we've uh, shortened the dwell. Now we're going to increase the dwell. You can, you can hear where it does that. And the bottom one here will tell you how much air comes out at a time. So if you want a lot of air to come out, so that determines how long the air blast is going to be at the bottom. Tip me wouldn't want much. It'd be just a little pssst. And then as each time it does a, a, a blast, it keeps track of on here for whatever value that may have. But uh, uh, I'm really pleased with well, The other thing we're going to make up here, we haven't done it yet, we're going to make a, another adapter up here. We can put uh, multiple nozzles on here. I also have down here, as you can see, a, a foot pedal that we can uh, also put uh, air blast to a particular project. And we'll show you more about that later. But uh, this is uh, how we do it here at HelicopterJohn.com and uh, thanks again to uh, Lyle Jagger for helping me out with this project. It's something I wanted to do for a long time and uh, he uh, made my dream come true. So uh, thanks again Lyle and uh, thank you for listening. Have a great day. Hello. We just finished up our uh, little bracket here that holds all of our uh, nozzles.
the center nozzle is your peak hole, which uh, is programmable in height for each one of your uh, particular tools you use. The one on the outside here, the black hose, has to do with your foot pedal. When we press on the foot pedal down here, and any time we want to put air uh, on the project to, to blow any necessary chips away where you're using coolant, you can do that. And of course, this, like I said, the center one is for your coolant. The one that we've just uh, hooked up today, and which is really nice, is your programmable air nozzle. Now the way this works, we're going to turn on our little unit over here. And this unit, of course, has a counter on it, and it has a, it has a timer. It'll tell you uh, how long it uh, goes between air blasts, and this will tell you how long the air blast is. And there it's fully adjustable, both of these. And if you go over here, you can see it does put out a really big blast of air. We're ready to start machining stuff now. We thank you for listening. Take care.